everyone is here right Oh, okay. But he's joining us, right? Okay, never mind. So we just proceed, okay? All right. Um, so, yeah, never mind. Okay. Later they will join. All right. Uh, okay, so we proceed with the practical seven by today, okay? All right, so I already posted the practical, okay, in classroom. So you guys are. Uh, can download the practical notes okay the question okay uh, hold on let me share with you guys all right so practical seven so this is what we're going to do today all right okay so you guys able to see the screen clear Oh, yeah. to see. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with this practical seven. Okay. We don't wasting any time. Okay. So in this practical seven, what we're going to do, there are three things. Okay. A, B, and C. Okay. For the first one, querying Oracle metadata. Okay. In the data dictionary. Second, we're going to look at the indexes. And see, we're going to view. Okay. So, our learning objective for today, okay, for this practical sub one, is using the, the data dictionary's view to obtain the user information. Okay, we're going to use the data dictionary, okay, to obtain the user information. Okay, just to obtain the user information. Okay, so number two here. Okay, knowing when to apply indexes to speed up the processing. Okay. So you must be able to know when to apply the indexes. Okay. To speed up the processing. Okay. That's number two. Number three is using views to enhance the access control. Alright. So there are two references over here that you can read okay according to this page okay for example here the whole url okay so later on you can look at these two references okay so without wasting any time so let's start with question uh sorry the number one task okay but before that okay i need to pause this video for a while okay All right, so we continue back. Okay, all right. Um, querying Oracle metadata, okay, the data dictionary. Okay. Let's take a look at this one. Okay, so the Oracle data dictionaries, okay, it maintains a lot of information okay, on the activities that are performed on the database. Okay. So the data, the data dictionary that can be queried by a user is all of these things. Okay, these are the things that you can query. Okay, the user system, uh, 
Ambil this one is private. Okay. Okay, user tab. Okay, user collection, the role, the system. Okay. There's a lot of things you can do with the full list. Okay. With the data dictionary. So, let's do this task over here. Okay. Copy to C drive the previous dot SGL. Okay, this one also I already uploaded to the practical okay google classroom okay so yeah i would like you guys to download it also so that we are able to run the data okay so let's open our sql here okay so i'll just change the phone for a second um this much more better easy to look at okay so you know we're entering into our system database all right so next we are going to view some metadata information Do we have this one because I don't have this metadata. Okay, do you guys have this metadata, the txt file for this? Okay, never mind. Let me check first, okay? Let me check first, okay? It seems like I don't have the metadata. Let me we just go through with it and yeah, see what happened. Yeah, the one I will add the one. Let me check first. Um,
Okay, since like I don't have the metadata.txt, but never mind. Okay, we'll get that one later. Okay, so we we'll see how we got the metadata works like that. Okay. Okay, so you can try that one. Okay, you can create the metadata txt okay so we just create the font plus okay because he didn't ask to create but i think yes we need to create the form into mine let me put it in the c file Let's try and do this one again. Okay, so what I did, okay, we don't have the metadata, but I just create the metadata the PXT file okay, in the C file. Okay. And then let's start with the PS, okay, the one that we download just now, SQL file. Okay, let's start with this. Let it run. So are you guys getting the same thing also? Keep on running, please. Okay. Oh, is it? Mine is a bit slow. Okay, never mind, just need it, need it like this. Okay. Okay, never mind, let it run. Okay. Oh. I'm having to do a <laughs> All right, uh, so far, how's your assignment, everyone? Hey, while waiting for this one, I would like to ask about the assignment. So, so far. Metadata, yes, it's empty. Nothing, nothing inside. Just create the file, metadata. So far, how's your assignment, everyone? Because I believe by next week, you just need to do the presentation. Your group done? Okay, so you guys done? Yeah, no, okay. okay. All right, so, yeah. Stop already. Okay, so we have how many of this? 198,157 rows selected. Okay, so once we do that one and spool off, spool off. Okay. Let's take a look. What else we going to do over here? Okay. So open the metadata file and observe some of information relation to the state of Okay, so how to open the metadata? Can you open just like this? Can we do like this? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's We 
we just need to repeat it. Okay. At first, our metadata is zero, nothing inside. And when I start the metadata, yeah, later when we check what inside the metadata, we leave all the user information. So we just wait for this one too. Did you guys get the same result running like this? Because I'm about to stop this. Yeah, you can do also like that one, but I just want to see what happened with the SQL. <laughs> All right. Mine is closing down. Okay, the SQL. I'm going to go mine, we just open it back. Okay, and this one becomes smaller again. Let's look at in back system after this let me um okay let me open my metadata a lot inside here okay and i'm afraid mine is not working okay so what things do we have over here okay use the tab of 
this one record user collection so all of this okay is this one okay so contain of this user source sequences constraint the table columns individual columns okay it's all inside this metadata okay raw system what else roll tab okay everything is here okay in our metadata okay. so this one if you want to go through all of this okay it's up to you and we close on this one and yeah we're going to proceed okay so indexes so we're going to look at this indexes Okay. For further reading, you can go to this two URL. Okay. And let's take a look at this one. Okay. Uh, due to the small data set in our sample database, okay, there will not be any noticeable speed difference in accessing the data, even if we create indexes for the various columns okay, in the various tables. Okay. But however, we will practice using the index command okay by default by default you say it's ready there okay the oracle will automatically create an index for the primary key for each table okay by default okay by default you say it's ready there okay so query the data dictionaries okay views to see the tables and the various indexes already defined for the primary key it's something like this. Okay. So if you want to tap on this one, it's okay. Lah. If you want to do a query of index name, index type, table owner, table name. Okay. And let's take a look at this one. When to create the indexes. Okay. So if your query use columns other than the PK, in its search condition okay, and if you run this query often okay, consider creating an index on the column to speed up processing okay so this are the example okay later on we're going to do, do on this one okay so in for this one okay, updating a table with indexes take more time than updating a table without okay because the indexes also need to be updated so that's why it take more times okay. so indexes should only be created on columns okay columns you need to say column lah okay that will be frequently searched against okay for example it's like this okay so let's try and do something on it okay are we able to copy and paste on this one and um, are we able to do this one or if this is only a syntax okay let's try and copy in this one much more easy copy and paste but i will suggest to type okay I think we should do something about the line size. Okay. So now well, what is it again? The command to play with the line size. Set line size like that. Okay. Is it one thousand? Okay with this. Seems like this one takes forever, but never mind. So we just wait because we have a lot of time, okay? Yeah.
Okay, they are 4,250 pro. So let's set the line size. Uh, just make it 1,000. Okay. And I'm going to look at this one again. Uh, seems like the same thing. Okay. This, oh, this one much more faster. We use 1,000 of the line size. Put this one in one. Okay, this one seems too hard to read. I think I need to uh, open more, I guess. Okay, line size so that we can look more clearly on this one. Let's say put it 10,000. Okay, so this one I just bring with the size line okay just because we want to get a nice view but seems like it doesn't work okay uh, i want to see from the column i can show the column over here okay the column should be yeah I'm scroll up look at the first Pink and up. Okay, this one seems too many. It seems like we are not getting it. Index name, index type, table owner. Okay. So what do we have over here? The index name. Okay. This one they select by the column. Okay. These are the column, the index name, index type, table owner, table name, table type, else the uniqueness, and the column name. Okay, and getting all those, user indexes A, and user individual column B. Okay, so when A index name, is equal to B index name. Uh, what do we get from the here? Okay, so we'll be getting on all of this thing now. Okay. This one, of course, a room, a room for command. Okay. Uh, okay, so index name will be on this one. This, okay, but of course, we're not able to read on this one now. Okay, just an uh, example of it. Okay, so enough with this. Let's take a look at this one the example. Okay. Select product code, product name, MSRP, the quantity in stock from the product with the product names like A. What symbol is this? Is this a percent symbol? Okay, anyone knows what this symbol is? Yes. All right. So what happens if we use this example? Can we look at the product code, product name, everything with the product name like A? Of course, we don't have the A. I think so. I just the NPC. Okay. Don't have products on this system admin. Or should we use? Are they user? I think we need to create the index first. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So this query use the product name as a search criteria. Okay. Therefore, the product name should be indexed if the range of product is large and this query is used of. Okay. Then, so let's create the index product name. Okay. See whether we can create the index from the system admin. Okay, since this one is only a short command, so I just type. Okay. But if you want to copy and paste, also no problem with it. Okay. Okay, the product does not exist. 
Okay, not exist in this system database. So, so do we need to do something else over here? So I guess we, yeah, you know, let's change to other user. So how to change the user? Are you using, uh, Jonathan, you're using system admin or other username? I think I should get into the container. Outer container set to xdb one Is it outer set container or session? Is there any session? Outer session, is it? Anyone still remember? X. Okay, yeah, this one, uh, XDB one. Okay, the problem is from here. Okay, the asterisk mark over here. Stay out the set container or container set? Or session container set? Anyone? Can guess? I oh, still remember this one. Ah, oh, yeah, well. Oh, in the chat box. Oh. Okay, so I get it the wrong way. Okay. Set. Okay, is it set session? Okay, so now my XDDD1 does not exist. So what's happened here? Ah, yeah. XE, sorry, sorry. Still get the wrong one. It's XE. That's why. Ah, okay, 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 thank you for that. Okay. I got the wrong container this time. So let's do this create. Okay. So I need to be in that container. Then before that, I'm in a different container this time. Okay. So the index is created. Okay, so I believe all you guys are able to do on this one. Okay, so other criterion for creating indexes of or non key attributes from this one okay non key attribute is for joining the tables okay sorting a records and qualify a filter okay and also you can enforce uniqueness of value in a column using a unique index what a unique index here this one, okay are you able to create a unique index table that one okay so we need to do on this one first case and just create this index product name okay so i'm going to create and i'm going to just use an table easy okay and i just need to alter some of this unique index but this one is custom postcode okay so something i need to do from stop this one is for the customer postcode Okay, on customers of the code. Ah, okay, so mine have duplicate key farm. Does it mean that this customer already exists? Okay, or I already create the unique index? Do you find the same things over here? Okay, mine I'm not able to clear. Okay, same. Huh? Are you able to create? Okay, that's why it's here. Okay, and why? Later on, we're going to look at it. Okay, why we're not able to use? It's a duplicate key found here. So these are the things okay need to say either we already create 
this one for this okay without our knowing or oh. yeah i think that's what okay duplicate that's why it's a duplicate all right but never mind let's proceed with the other one okay creating a function based on next okay so look at here in the previous section okay this section okay we already create the product name index okay and let's say you issue the following query okay and we'll do the query on this one okay so let's try and query on this okay uh let's just copy and paste copy on this one paste it and missing expression okay missing expression over here okay let's do like this one uh, okay. instead of light I don't think this one. Which sign? No rules. Do we have this like cars? You mean this one, Noel? This thing need to be removed. Is it like that? Is that what you mean? Remove on this one. Okay, there is no row selected. Okay, so there is no row selected because of this thing. Okay, because this query uses a function upper. Okay, we use this function. Okay, the product index index isn't be used. Okay, so if you want an index to be based on the result of a function, you must create a function based index. Okay, and that's why there is no row selected. Okay, that's the reason. Okay, so you need to create an index based on the upper product name. This one. Okay, so we just create index. Okay, the product name. Okay, sorry, no spelling. Index. Oh, the product name. Name. Index. Function. Index. Okay, on products. Okay. I think this one is. Actually, it's not uh, just sensitive or some, but I just like to follow on this one. Upper product name. So the index is created. So once we do this one, are we able to run on this query again? Let's try on this one again. Oh, okay, so I just copy and paste on this one. Okay, sorry. The expression. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry.
and still no row selected after creating the index. Ah, Select product, product name, MSRP, config in stock from products. We upload product name. I put it like this one. Invalid relation. Okay, still no product, is it? Okay, still not appear anything. Okay, we will do like this one. We run at this already missing expression. Um, let me do this one again. Okay, no pro selected. Okay. Can we look at our product over here? Okay, let's check the description product name. We have this product. Okay. Uh, okay, let me set the line size this. So 1000. Okay, let's take a look at our products here. Uh, just now we're using the product name. Product name is there, like class, but I don't think we have that one because. Do something with the line size, okay? Just make it a bit smaller, okay? No product name on in class, okay? <coughs> what we have here only the names, okay? The product names, okay? Cars, we of course we don't have, okay? We only have the product name. We don't have the things inside this product name. Okay, but you get the, I mean, you get the idea of it, okay? okay. So we're trying to query the product name, okay? What we're getting is uh, nothing inside. Raw selected because we have this um, column, but there's nothing inside the product name. And that's my might be the cost thing. Okay. okay. So let's do on this index on multiple columns. But before we get into this one, I believe yeah, let's take a break for a while. Okay. Are you guys okay with that? Okay, so we'll be back at nine. Make it nine ten. Oh sorry. Yeah, nine ten. Okay. Nine oh no no not nine ten. Uh, ten, okay. Ten five minutes. Okay. And ten five minutes. Okay. So let's take a break for a while. Okay. So you guys like to continue with my own and you can continue with okay? it.
All right, guys, so we're going to continue that. So you guys ready? All right, so we're going to proceed, okay? So where are we, okay? Index on multiple columns. All right, so we're done with function based index. So now we're going getting into the index on multiple columns. So if you know a group of multiple columns will be always used together as such criteria, okay? So you should create a single index for the group of column with the on table name, okay? Collection one, collection two, okay? This one, we're going to group the column, okay, into one, into one index. Like this one, contact last name and contact first name. Okay. Um, okay, so let's try and do on this one. Okay. And yeah, let's try and do on this. Okay. Uh, for this case, I'll just type it. Okay. Number two. Copy and paste this one. So need a little. Contact last name, contact first name. Okay, so okay. hit enter, missing right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This one's supposed to be. Oh, where is it going to be? No space. Okay, so the index created. Okay, so how are we going to view this index? Any of you have idea how to view this index? Any of you? Well, any idea on this one, Noel? Okay, so okay, so actually it's similar like this one. Okay, just select. Okay, so because we create the index customer names on customer on this one. Okay, so let's try with select. Um, let's see what are we going to select over here. Okay, let's take a look. Mm, this one base index. This one is create. This one is based on names. Okay. Uh, so select customer name. Okay. So this is from which. Number number okay, to view. Select customer number okay from the customer. Ah, okay, sorry, wrong spelling. Okay, select customer number. How come it's customer number? Okay, from customer. Ah, okay, okay. We're going to look at the customer number from the customers. Okay, from these customers. Okay, where the customer is. Contact first name like you need to put like okay, no, you just follow this one and contact last name like D E. Okay. 
But of course, we are getting no raw selected because we don't have this content. Okay, the customer. Okay, if you look at the description of the customer. We don't have any customer name or customer number. Okay. The reason why we don't have anything because we don't have the customer number, we don't have the customer name. Okay. The customer last name and first name. Okay. Nothing inside here. That's why there is no row selected. Okay. okay. That's why we are getting this one. No selected. Okay, unless we have insert all the contact last name uh, the customer names. Okay. So the result was to be when we do this one, select customer number from the customer, okay, from this customer uh, from this customer, okay. All of this one contain okay, it's under customer. Okay, so where the contact first name like Ma. And contact last name like the okay it will uh, sort everything out okay according to this okay but seems like we don't have any input on this contact last name and contact first name and it shows no row selected okay so i believe you guys understand huh, what i mean with this one all right good night Okay, I believe the rest will do the same thing. Okay, so let's take a look at view. I believe this is the last thing for us, okay, in this practical, okay. Creating and using a view. Okay, there are two basic types of view over here with the simple view and the complex view. Okay, so the simple view here, okay, it says that which contain a sub query and retrieves from one base table. Okay, that is a simple view for the complex view okay which contain a sub query that retrieve from multiple base table okay so if you have uh, more than one base table and they will query on all the table that you have okay and say the base table okay and groups row using a group by or distinct close and it contains a full function call so complex you know, say they get all those things that you need to search. Simple view is only view from a single base table. But for this complex view, it will uh, query from all the base table that you have. But if you have only have one base table, then same thing also like a simple view. So let's try and creating and using the simple view. Okay, let's say that you only allow employee Steven to view details about customer from London. Okay. So this one is supposed to be okay, employee Steven. Uh, I think we done this one. Okay, you just did this one before lah, entering all the employee names and everything. Or unless you already did everything. Or I believe it's in it created under a username not in the system database okay so let's try and get into the user okay so how to connect to other user you guys still remember okay so i just connect the engine oil Okay, let me connect to my Kia. Kia, and then my password is Kia also. At local host. Okay, sorry, wrong. Local host. Ah, okay, sorry. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. Local cost one five two one. Okay, in the EPDD container. Okay, so now I'm connected. Oh, let me check description and 
Hastalığı mı? Aha, the same thing also. Nothing here. Okay, nothing in my key also. Okay, so it's... If nothing here, then I need to get back to... Yeah, system database. So how to get back? Is it exit? Oh, sorry. Exit then. Try to wait. Exit from this. Aha, okay, so I need to do this like that. Okay, and it's still small. Outer session set container one. Wrong spelling again. Container, not coin. Okay. So we don't have any data in our customers. So we just do on this one. Okay. So we create a view for London customer view. Okay. As so if you want to press enter and straight away type all this thing in one line, also can. Okay, no problem. Select from customers where upper city is London. Okay, the view is created. But we are we able to view? Okay, so now we're going to query. Okay, query the view. Okay, by cutting on all this one. Okay, so we're going to select customer number. Okay, wrong spelling again. Select customer. This one actually is not case sensitive, but I'm just follow on this one. The customer name. The contact list. Contact list, contact last name, phone from London, okay, customer view, okay, so this London customer view is what we have created previously on this, okay, so we create the view, okay, London customer view. Okay, so these are the view query. Okay, London customer view. Okay, so we run on this one. No row selected. Okay, so no row selected because we don't have any input on this customer number, customer name, contact last number, phone. Okay, for us to view. Because in this view that we have created, okay, it contain a customer. Okay, it contain all of this thing now. Customer number, customer name, contact last name. Okay, so if any of you are uh, still have, I mean, still, I think in the previous practical where you did all, you insert all the customer names, number, last name. Okay, and I think in practical five we delete it. Okay, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and now everything is zero. Okay. So far, this one you guys able to understand, is it? Okay. This one create the view. Okay. Simple view and then create the view. Okay, just like that. Okay, simple. 
Okay, so check the structure of the view. Okay, description. Okay, we took a look at this one, London. Customers view. See what inside here. Okay. So in this London customer view, it contains the customer number, customer name, last name, first name. So all this one is column. In the column, okay. Column for customer number, column for customer name, column for contact last name, uh, column for contact first name. So all of this is a column, okay. And no row selected, okay. Means say there is nothing under this column, okay. And that's the reason why we're getting no rows selected. So uh, let's performing an insert using a view. Okay, you can only perform the EML okay, operation with simple view. Complex view don't support EML. Okay. So let's when they try to insert some record into the London customer view created above. Okay, create a view that show products that are low in stock. You decide what is low stock. Insert the record into product that has quantity lower than your low stock threshold. Okay, and then insert a record into a product that has quantity above your low stock threshold. And view the data, you just insert into the low stock view, explain, explain why there is no output. Okay. But this one is the thing that we need to do. Just because we, uh, okay, we have nothing over here, okay. All the product okay low stock everything okay we have nothing currently so in order to do this one i don't think we are able to do uh, not able to do this thing okay and that's the way get into this creating a view with the check option constraint okay so you can specify the dml operation when we look at this one of course we don't have anything we don't have any okay we don't have anything in, in this column okay everything is zero unless you have all the data we don't have any data here even for the product is also we don't have anything Okay, we look at the product and let's select product from product. Is it product? Let's see this section of our product. Mm. Okay, so select quantity in stock um, from product is it from product okay oh, it should be s oh, so we do have this quantity in stock okay Quantity in stock, yes, we do have on this one. Uh, what else we need? Can look at this quantity in stock. Okay, anything under this one? Quantity in stock. It's not a folder, okay? We can only do this one. The folder. So when we do uh, description the products, so let's do the let's check on this one for a second. Products. Mm, what else do we need to look at? Okay, let's select the product code. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, what was the stock on the quantity stock? Okay, this is not okay. Okay, I'll go to the one. Uh, let's check, select by price from products. Okay, so we do have on this one. Okay, no problem. I believe we do have all these things above. Huh? Hmm. Let's look at description of our customer. Okay, so let's select the customer name. See whether from oh, this one is from customer. Is it with S? Ah, uh, this is not the customer name. Is this the customer name? Okay, oh, this one name is. Okay, so we do have customer name actually, but when we view, uh, because we are, hold on, let's check again with this one, we are viewing customer name, customer number, phone, okay, but it doesn't show. Okay, are we, do you guys have all of this? input okay I suppose we are, we are able to view okay, never mind. Let's, run. Let's, let's try and do I'm not going to do this one again okay um, let's check with the description again there's one more thing I would like to try description of our customers. Let's check with this country. Description. Select country from customers. Do we have London over here? Oh, London is city. Oh, yeah, correct, correct, correct. London is city. Do we have London? Ah, okay, no wonder. Okay, no wonder we are not able to view because there is no London in this, in our database. Okay, so because when we create this uh, view just now, okay, it must have this London. Okay, but when we do the query, it doesn't show anything because there is no London in this city okay i'm not sure whether yours have or not but mine there is no london over here okay. so this one create a view that show product that are low in stock okay, so this one you need to decide what is low in stock okay. um to do this one well just need to you know just follow on these steps now okay so create and then insert a record set a record on this one and leave, and leave you guys to do on this one okay because this one you need to yeah you need to what is that? you need to submit this one okay only on this one okay and just show you on how to do this Practical, okay. 
so you get the idea okay if i do everything here and mean to say i'm the one who do the whole big assessment okay so never mind with that let's proceed with this okay okay so create view oh this one is create view okay i think this one the same as okay hold on i need to charge my laptop this will give me around two minutes before it's run out of battery I guess uh, I think I need five more minutes. Okay, another couple of minutes. Okay, I need to turn on my laptop. Okay. Currently out of battery. Okay, just give me another three more minutes. Okay. Uh, so where are we just now okay yeah okay. so we're going to create this view okay for low stock okay. so this one it's the same as this one okay so you can use this thing also okay so let's get a view of low stock as Select. So I just follow all these things. Select from the products. Okay, where the quantity quantity in stock is less than fifty. Okay with check no i just hit enter first okay another line okay with check option constraint okay low stop two okay hold on low stop two okay Here I made a mistake, okay? We have create the view low stocks, but here we type it low stock too. Okay. Uh, yeah, I need, I need to redo this one again. Okay, and just click that. So, we check option constraint of low stop to 50 50 white quantity okay so the view has been created okay So now we're going to insert the row. Okay, insert another row here. Okay, into into the low stop two. Okay, in this one we have been created. 
okay, in the create view. Okay, so we're going to insert another row that is close stop two. Okay, so let's put it on this one. Okay, so we're going to insert into the low stop okay, stop two. Okay, value of test one two three four. Okay, so we're going to insert this one in the row. Okay, and another one is point uh point yet. Uh, yeah. Shift. One. That one. Two. Okay, so just open a new one. I will max up gallery. This one is one three nine thirty three or thirty three point three fifty four no, six those and this one and we hit enter okay. where class violation okay there is a violation insert a low stop Okay, so there is an error on this one. Okay, the error will be here. Okay, We're having an error on this one. So if we change this one, one three nine, can it be there? Yeah. Okay, let's try when we. Let me change this value. Okay. What error message did you see? We are getting this one. Okay. So let's say if we play with number below 50, is it able to be created? Able to be insert? Yes. But when we look carefully, uh, 54.6, this one is above 50, but it's still able to get in. How is that possible? Anyone can answer that? And this is what actually? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. good. All right. So, okay, next we're going to create this read only constraint. Okay. They only can read, they are not able to modify. Okay, modify means to say alter lah. Okay, you need to insert, okay. First, you are not able to do on that one. All right, so let's do in this one, okay. So we're going to create view law stop number three. Okay, as I'm going to select from the product okay, where the quantity in stock is lower than 50 okay with read only constraint okay low stock three read only 
Okay, so if I click the view, okay. So now let's insert a row with a context. Stop 10 less than 50. Okay, so what error message did we get? Okay. So uh, yeah. So let's try and insert. Okay. Uh so we're using the same thing of the deal, huh? This one I just copy it up because it's more easy. Okay. Uh okay, so I'm not able to this one no. Let's copy the first line and just change on this value. I just use this one okay and insert the row into a low stop with a quantity stop of 10 okay so if one three nine of course we are not able to do this one now because it's more than 50 Let's say we put it this one as tabs. Okay, now we can see the message over here. This is only a read only view. Okay, you are not able to modify anything from this law stop three view. Okay, so you guys, uh, I believe you guys know about this one now. Easy lah, it's only for read only. Okay, so people only able to view select this thing but they are not able to yeah modify or insert anything okay so you must be able to read on this one to understand the error yeah so getting information on the view constraint let's try on this one okay so how many pages do we have left so i need to make it fast okay this only one, two, three. So this one I just copy and paste and see what's other view. Okay. And yeah, you have many exercise also. Okay, exercise also you need to yeah, do on this one now. Okay, so let's copy and paste on this one. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to Select the owner constraint and set up table names and status from the, from user constraint, order by owner and the table name. And what do we get? Okay. Let's run. Let's take a look at the creating a using complex view. So we're going to create or replace view, the high order view. Okay, so we to do on this one, high order view, as select customer, a order, order date. Okay, so we just put on this one. Uh, and this one, I believe you guys are able to read on this one. Once we create this one, and we're going to combining a view with the database table. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, so everything is clean. Finish with the view, and if we like this one, it's hard for us to view. Huh? So don't mind, we just create this one using a complex view. So I just copy on this one, make it more easier for us. Okay, so the view has been created. Okay, so now let's do this one. Okay. Select the customer name, country, B, okay, and then from customer A. The high order, this one, using complex A that we just created. B, when A customer number is equal with B customer number. Okay. So this is how okay, but of course this one is hard for us to read. Huh? We need to make sure that 
uh, the line size is correct so that we are able to view very easy okay but with this thing okay i believe you guys get an idea on how to uh, create the view file i mean to say a view query okay. well, let's set this one line size to be i think this is okay, This one much more nicer. Let's take a look on the top one. Let's take a look at the top one. Okay, and never mind, I just use the last one, not much more. Okay, so we have customer name, customer number, oh sorry, customer name, and then country. Customer number, order number, the order date, the order, the value number of the of value, and the number of product. Okay. Let's, let's take a look again at this one. Okay, so our high order view is include customer number, order number, order date, and the sum price as. Okay. So actually, if you want to create the view only for customer number, then you don't have to insert this order number or the get life. You want to make it your table a bit smaller. Okay, but just because we, we want to view this one also. Okay, so that's why it appears like this one. Okay, customer name, customer number, the country, everything will be like that. Okay. And yeah, and that's all for practical number seven. And this exercise, I would like you guys to do and submit it before. This one is really easy, lah. Okay. Do you guys have class after this? No. Uh, what time? Okay, group two, no. Okay, so if like that, then I believe this uh, this one. Okay, you just have to submit now. Okay, submit by today. I will create the submission. Okay, uh, including the practical number six also. Uh. Practical six and practical seven. Okay, submit before end of this day. Okay, at midnight lah. Uh. Midnight will be the last submission. Okay. All right. So thank you, everyone. That's all for today. Okay. So yeah. stay safe, everyone. All right. Thank you.